Hello everybody and welcome back to another video on my YouTube channel. My name is Sid. I like making videos about programming, math, productivity, and a bunch of other things. So today I thought I'd share an update to my own personal productivity system from the video that I made like two or three months ago where I talked about how I keep my life organized as a high schooler. And now I'll show you guys how I'm going to keep my life organized as a college student. I'm really only going to use two softwares to do this, um, Obsidian and Notion and also Google Calendar, but that doesn't really count because people really only use Google Calendar in one way to schedule events. Um, in my last video about my own productivity system, I would use Notion a lot less than I do currently. Um, and I've started to use Notion a lot more and Obsidian a little bit less, but I still do use it a lot. So let's get straight into it. First of all, I'm going to start with Obsidian because this is usually where my um, day starts every day. Obviously, my day will start every day. Anyways, regardless of that, besides my poor English, um, the main thing that I use Obsidian for is its daily notes feature. And a daily note is exactly what it sounds like. Every day, you have this daily page that will pop up when you click your open today's daily note button. And uh, you just write down whatever you want. So, oops, what did I do there? My template for my daily notes is actually pretty simple, right? So if you go to my templates, let's go to daily note template. It's just the date, my mood when I wake up, uh, my productivity at the end of the day, sleep. This is when I wake up. Today I woke up pretty late at like 1030, which is uh, not great. My reading, and this is how long I read every day. My plan highlight of the day. This is just the one thing that I have to get done. Then I write down something I'm grateful for and my to do's, right? So if you look here, I'm grateful for my family. Plan highlight of the day is uh, making content. So this YouTube video as well as some TikToks. And my mood is good, and I woke up at 10.30 a.m., which I have remarked as horrible, which is true. Um, then I write down my to-dos. Um, today I had to do a Cisco's uh, online coding assessment for like their internship process. Um, that went pretty well. Then I planned some YouTube and TikTok videos, and we'll show how I do that in a little bit. Then filming YouTube, which is what I'm doing right now. Then I have to film a TikTok. And then I want to read The Myth of Sisyphus by Albert Camus, which is on my bookshelf over there. Then if I'm feeling it, I'll write down some morning thoughts or daily notes or nightly reflection, but I really don't do this as much as I should, um, and I will hopefully uh, change that habit as I get into college. I also use Obsidian for a lot more. And besides daily notes, I've used it to write newsletters. Um, I used to use it to write YouTube scripts, um, but now I use Notion for that. I do a lot of my drafting in here, and if I'm reading something um, that I really enjoy, then I will, reading or listening to something that I really enjoy, I'll take notes on it in Obsidian at some point. Now let's talk about Notion, which really is the big part of this um, productivity system, or whatever you might want to call it. And somebody has now turned the heating on in my house, and I am not enjoying it one bit. Anyways, so here's what my dashboard looks like. It's pretty simple. Um, you know, I have like eight pages here, four plus four is eight. Um, I have one column of daily work, so these are things that I would try to do every day. Um, so an hour of lead code, two hours of just programming, like building a project, an hour of writing, which I've already done today, I should write that down, and I've also done this. One hour of, uh, you know, I spend some time outside, spend some time reading, tutoring, which I'm not doing until September because I have to get used to getting into college. Uh, filming a vlog TikTok, posting a normal TikTok, and trying to film or edit or script a YouTube video. Which, and you know, most of this stuff I do try to get done every day. So this column is really useful because whenever I open up my dashboard, I'm like, okay, these are things that I think are important and I should be doing every day. So I try to do them, right? And then in this pending to do's column, this is where I'll put things that are not necessarily something I have to get done immediately today and aren't on today's to do list unless I have time, but I will have to do at some point very soon. So an example would be the Georgia Tech um, alcohol education course. There's this orientation course where you have to do like alcohol education and a bunch of other stuff. And I have to take that, it's due by August 13th, and I need to do that. Then I also list down some goals that I have, getting to 10,000 TikTok followers. Follow me on TikTok, I'm at 8,500 or something like that. Getting to 1,000 YouTube subscribers, hit the subscribe button. Um, getting to $1,000 of monthly revenue. Um, getting my first internship interview and launching a side project, right? All pretty reasonable stuff. Now, uh, in terms of my actual pages here, um, I don't actually use most of these. I use coding projects. Um, this is where I plan stuff out, um, you know, write down my tech stack, uh, tech stack for these coding projects, um, you know, and if it's a little bit bigger of a project, 
I will work on um, using these Kanban boards to track the projects. And besides coding projects, I also use this internships tracker. Uh, oopsie, I hope I don't leak my address there because that would be unfortunate. No, I don't. Yeah, and that's my fake phone number too, which is hype. All right. Yeah, anyways, um, I use this to track down my internship applications. When I apply, um, the last time they got updated, whether I was rejected, what stage of the interview process I'm in, etc. Then, besides that, which I'm going to be using a lot because how many internships I've applied to so far? Probably like, yeah, 25 internships. And I'm going to apply to a lot more before I get one, so that's going to be something I'm going to use for a long time. Then, of course, I use YouTube and TikTok. So, this is uh, my project tracker. Uh, this goal was failed, so let's just change this to a thousand subscribers by the end of August. My project tracker is just where I keep track of my actual videos, um, what stage they're in, and how I want to actually get them out. I also use dates to show the date that I want to get the video out. Uh, most of the time, these are very overly optimistic. In this case, uh, I want to get this like two videos out tomorrow. That's not happening. Um, it might though, so subscribe if you want to see them. Then I also have a growth strategy of how I want to grow on YouTube. How I can come up with ideas, etc. Um, and I also have this uh, Excel sheet um, added to the this Google sheet added to this page, um, which is just video idea suggestions. So people, I have a Google form in my Discord, join my Discord server, where people can give me suggestions on YouTube they on YouTube videos they want to see. Um, and if you actually want to give me suggestions, I'll leave them in the dis leave it in the description below. But I simply, I use Notion there. Then here, I use. Um, I have videos that I want to post on TikTok, um, and I have a TikTok growth strategy, and I have video ideas for TikTok, as well as their tags, what status they're in. So very similar to my YouTube, um, but for TikTok instead. I also will be using this a lot more for college, my fall 2021 semester. I don't actually have any classes yet, but when I will, you'll see like a mini version of this dashboard, but for school only. And um, that's about it, right? Because I don't have anything else to do. And that's kind of what I use my um, Notion setup for, my Sydney setup for. Tutoring, I will also use um, this when I'm actually actively tutoring to keep track of um, lessons that I'm teaching, homework that, homework that I'm sending out to students, as well as a bunch of other things. But other than that, right now I'm not really using it. Courses, this isn't like school courses. These are courses that I would be writing and teaching um, in terms of their prices. So I keep all that there. Blog, if I am writing for my blog, which I have not done in a long time, but I'm hoping to get back into it soon um, in the fall, um, that's where I would keep track of those. But that's that's my setup. Uh, if you have any questions about it and you want to see any other productivity related videos, then leave them down in the comments below and I will be sure to get back to you. If you enjoyed the video, hit that like button, consider subscribing, and as always, thanks for watching and have a great day.